So recently I started using uh, fzf and it is a command line uh, utility for finding files and uh, I'm very happy and pleased with uh, fzf so far. I think it is amazing and it really uh, has been helping me uh, getting fast accessing my files. Now let me let me show you how it works and uh, uh, the way it works is if you are if you are on terminal and of course right now you may have uh, uh, this uh, directory let us say in this case my home directory so right now I'm within my home directory now if I want to find files all the files that are in my home directory I can uh, type in uh, fzf now if I type in fzf it, it will of course uh, try to search uh, in this directory and it and right now I have a lot of files I have like symbolings and uh, if I have to find, let us say, a text-based based file, so I, I write code in Groovy quite a lot. So let us say if I'm trying to find something like uh, get issue type. So this is, a, uh, this is the name of the file and usually when I name my files, I try to give them nice names so I can find them. Now I have found the file and if I press enter, it will find the file and it will return the path of that particular uh, code or whatever text file and this is of course applicable for not just text file but of course it can be any file now we can do something with this particular path like we can open it ideally i want to open it in my emacs because i i, I prefer working on emacs so what i can do is i can uh, uh, do something like this i can maybe store it in a variable so maybe i can say file path equal to and uh, I can then do something like this to basically store the file path uh, in this variable. So if I do again the same thing, I'll try to find the file. And by the way, uh, the the way it can search is amazing. I mean, it is absolutely uh, brilliantly written utility. I, I think uh, I uh, will continue to use it for uh, all my needs. I have mostly focused on using uh, nothing but uh, the basic terminal commands and uh, recently I started also exploring Ranger. Ranger is good. I I think Ranger is also uh, amazing but uh, FZF is uh, really good in finding the files based on the name and it is uh, really fast and I believe uh, uh, you can uh, once you find the file once you find the file path you can uh, easily open it within like seconds. So if I open the same file again, this time I don't get anything because uh, uh, the, the path is actually stored in this variable. Now when we have the variable here, I can of course then uh, do something like file path and uh, now it will open it. It will basically uh, display the content of the of the file because I am passing uh, uh, this to cat. So okay, I think I, I need to use a dollar apologies for that so let us do that again get issue type and uh, now you can see the content of the file but i want to actually open it maybe in emacs so what i can do i can do something like emacs hyphen nw nw is a no w, no window mode because i prefer working on um, terminal and, and, and i have i'm happy with it i mean you don't have to but if i press enter now we have of course the same thing exact same thing so far so let us say if i'm trying to do something i can uh, then uh, File, find the file and if I now press enter I can actually open the file immediately so this is great and uh, and the good thing about uh, this uh, this setup is that uh, I can now write a shell script to uh, use fzf for the finder to find files and also open them and the, the, the shell script that I have is uh, this one let me just show you very quickly so this is a file a shell script which is of course in my scripts folder so normally I try to keep all, all my scripts uh, in a folder and I version control them but I also sim link them to my dot uh, local directory uh, dot local slash bin so that I can uh, manage them uh, from my home directory very, very easily and also of course uh, these uh, these scripts are in my path. So this particular file is uh, nothing but a simple shell script with a uh, file name called em. So that is it. So if I go back to the same uh, directory and if I type in here em and uh, then I have to of course open the file like get issue type. I can open it. Let us open something else like get issue links. 
I can open it and uh, now I have the file with me within uh, within few seconds. So this is something that I wanted to show you and uh, do give it a try if you think uh, you are looking for a way to find, not only find the files but also open them. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.